Hey everyone, Andrew here, Melbourne Superman, and I wanted to come on today and talk a little bit about some fitness myths that I hear a lot about. Now, I've done a video like this before, but I figured it was time to revisit it because you know, working in a gym, obviously, uh, I hear a lot about these things. I, I talk to my friends who have like some serious misconceptions about fitness, so go back and listen to the original one, or watch the original one, and look at this one and, and take it all with a grain of salt, but there's some things that I feel like need to be addressed, especially if you're starting out with your fitness journey. There are some things that can be confusing and can be misinformed. Uh, but before I get into that, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notifications bell, ding ding. Really helps me out if you support the channel, that'd be really great. So take a couple seconds now and do that. Uh, in terms of commenting, comment as you go. Ask questions, you know, comment on things that I'm saying, disagree with things I'm saying, that's fine too. I'll do that all down below. So, here are five fitness myths that I think need to be busted. Number one, if you don't work out, your muscles will turn to fat. So, muscle and fat are two very different things. So, your fat cannot turn to muscle. Your muscle cannot turn to fat. You can lose fat. You can gain fat. You can lose muscle and you can gain muscle, but they don't sort of turn into one another. So if you stop exercising, if you stop lifting, lifting completely, your muscles can decrease, your muscle mass can de decrease, your fat can increase. So that can give you the illusion that muscle is turning into fat, when in reality, it is that the fat is overcoming the muscle and the muscle is decreasing in size. So muscles don't magically turn into something that they're not, any more than um, a, a piece of wood can turn into a feather. It's just not, it, does, it doesn't work that way. So muscle does not turn into fat if you stop exercising. It can decrease in mass, but it will not turn to fat. Number two, sweating is a sure sign that you're losing weight. This is not true. So sweating is not the sign of a good workout, it's not the sign that you're losing weight, it's simply your body's response to heat. It is a way for your body to cool itself down. It is not, <laughs> it is not fat leaving your body, it is not losing weight. Because the thing about sweat is it is water. It's all water weight. And the moment that you drink water, or anything, you will gain that weight back. The way that you lose weight is your body burns more calories than it takes in. It has nothing to do with sweat. You can lose weight and never sweat. You can gain weight and sweat a lot. But it does not help you lose weight. It just regulates your body temperature. So if you're sweating, great, great, you're working hard, that's awesome. It means your body, the body heat is going up and that will aid in thermogenesis, calorie burn. But the actual sweat that you're losing is not gonna be reflective of the weight that you're losing. Number three, and this is a really big one. Lifting weights will make you bulky. This is absolutely not the case. Absolutely not the case. This has much more to do with your nutrition, well, it has everything to do with your nutrition, because you can choose a higher rep range, and this can sort of help you with hypertrophy, it can help you with muscular endurance, depending on what you're eating. You can choose a lower rep range, six to eight, eight to 10, and you can still burn fat on that rep range, without gaining bulky muscles. Because you're still working the muscle, you're still gaining muscle, and the more muscle you have, the more calories you'll burn, but you're not going to get bulky unless you eat that way. So if you're ever afraid of lifting weights because you think you're gonna get bulky and you're gonna get big, and you're not, you're not gonna, you're just not. Unless you're eating in a caloric surplus, you're not gonna get big and bulky. If you're eating to lose fat, to lose weight, to burn more calories than you're taking in, no amount of heavy lifting is going to make you get bulky. It's just not. That's, that's the end game. Number four, 
it's a good idea to stretch before you exercise. This there's no there's not any research that will back this up. Matter of fact, when you stretch, it's better to do so after you work out when your muscles are already warm. Because if you're stretching a cold muscle, it can you can get injured that way. You can certainly decrease your performance and there's no real study that shows that it will increase your output in a workout. You are much better off warming up by doing some form of flight cardio or my, I, the thing that I recommend the most is to do the actual exercise that you're about to do just in a lighter, lighter capacity. So if you're going to work up to say rep range of 8 to 10, I don't know, say a bench press, do the bench press. Use the bench press as a warm up, but use a weight that allows you to get to 15 to 20 reps so that you're getting your body used to that actual plane of movement. You're, you're, you're getting blood into the muscle that you're about to work and you're priming your body to actually get into the movement pattern that you're about to do. This is going to be much more beneficial than stretching or I see so many people, oh my God, so many people Especially if they're training shoulders, they do this stuff or this stuff, the, the rotator cuffs and everything. And unless you're doing that for rehab, this stuff, just just warm up with the, with, the, with the exercise that you're about to do. You don't need to get fancy with it. That's good for rehab, but there's really no, really no point in doing it. It's just, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. Use the energy in the movement that you're actually about to do is going to be much more beneficial. And five, final one for this one, spot reduction, abdominals. I hear this question all the time at the gym. What exercise can I do to get six pack abs? And my answer to them is always three sets of putting that cookie down. You are not going to, you can get abdominals without doing a single abdominal crunch, without doing a single leg raise, they're beneficial because the abdominals are a muscle like anything else um, and they do need to be worked but they can be worked indirectly pretty well the thing that is going to get you to a low enough body fat to be able to see them is your nutrition there's no exercise in the world there's no training in the world that's going to be able to out train a bad diet so if you want to see your abdominals if you want to see that six pack that eight pack you need to figure out a nutrition pattern that works for you that's going to put your body in a caloric deficit that helps you burn the amount of fat that you need to be able to see your abdominals and that generally for males is going to be somewhere and I, I speak on the male behalf because I'm a male anywhere between 10 and 15 percent body fat you'll start to see your abdominals anywhere between six and eight you'll really see that eight pack anything below six you it's not it's not really maintainable unless you're a freak of nature and that's for like competitive competing stuff but there is no specific exercise that's going to help you burn fat it's just not well aside from cardio and a cumulative effect of course but all of that all of the cardio all of the, the, the strength training will pale in comparison to a well-balanced nutrition plan that allows you to lose the body fat so that's the hard answer unfortunately so those are five myths that I feel need to be busted so we've got muscles turning to fat no sweating is a sure sign that you're losing weight no lifting heavier weights will make you bulky no sensing a pattern here stretch before exercise eh. better off to do it after exercise before exercise uh, or hard exercise, just move in the pattern that you're about to. And then spot reduction and any exercise that's going to reveal your abs, not, not a chance. So I hope that helps to shed some light. As always, if you do want some additional tips or private coaching, you can email me at Melbourne Superman, follow me at Melbourne Superman on Instagram and message me there. Uh, I have spots open at the moment. But as for now, please just make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, ding, ding. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.